a female cobra in London recently produced a clutch of 10 eggs, and the tiny babies are miniature replicas of their parents, although they have a very different skin tone. Even at this age, they already have poisonous venom glands and fangs capable of spitting. But keepers at the London Zoo were amazed to learn that four of their spitting cobras were actually not spitting cobras at all. The handlers, who noticed that the colour and pattern of their scales was different to other red spitters in the zoo's collection, made the discovery. A researcher from a biological science school in Wales has recognised the snake as an entirely new species. This new discovery means scientists can look at the snake in a whole new light. They can study its habitat, population, threats and other factors that they already know about other snakes. For a start they're a different colour, nothing like as bright coloured, not as red. And then over a period of days and weeks as the senior staff were working with them it became evident that there were some more subtle differences in terms of their patterning and also in terms of their behaviour. In fact they were just much more timid, much more reluctant to stand up and flare the hood that everybody associates with a cobra, a very sort of quiet and docile species. The sign outside the snake's pen at the zoo will soon be changed to tell the public of the new species, which can be told apart from the red spitting cobra by the shape and pattern of their throat and overall body colour. The snakes are dangerous and need to be picked up by a hook so the handlers don't get bitten. Children and adults watch safely from behind the glass. Red spitting cobras normally have a single broad dark band across the throat. The new species is called the Nubian cobra and the rest of its body is dark brown.